So, <laughs> ding dong. Never before do I believe that not just in Britain, but in many other countries around the world, we have been pulled into this incredible psyop where us, the people, at the bottom of the pile, celebrate and congratulate this grandiose bloodline that has been going around the world raping and pillaging and stealing and murdering and doing whatever they please to give them more power and control. And we're all celebrating it, you know? It's been good though, the last few days, because you started to see who really understands what's going on and who's working for them. Do you know what I mean? Who, like, I mean, like, you either got two groups. You've got people who are ignorant, who don't really understand what, what the royal family or any royal family stand for and, uh, and, uh, the, their bloodlines and who they are and what they're about and what their agenda is and their narrative is, which has always been the, con has always been the same since the beginning of time. Any kings and queens want control and they want, subservience you know that's just obvious you don't have to be a fucking mastermind to work that out but it's been good because the last few days you started to see some big accounts out there which is which are pretending to be alternative and to be against the official narrative and on our side but pff, when you start celebrating the life of what can only be called a wicked woman you know who is part of a very very evil bloodline that seeks to and has always sought to to really really have us as complete and utter slaves you know and i mean listen we can we can we can throw into the mix that you know like two of her sons yeah prince charles and prince andrew have both got close friends in their circles who were prolific paedophiles and procurers of children for the elite, okay? So not just like a geezer who's just like a bit of a wrong un, you know? We're talking like super nonces here, whose who's, who's job, whose like, who's function is to procure children for these rich and famous people, for these elitist people, yeah? So you're telling me with all the, all the understanding and all the the savvy that the secret services have got special branch mi5 mi6 all these all these intelligent services that know the ins and outs of a fucking flyer's arsehole all of a sudden they don't know what's going on with the close close people in connection to not only prime ministers and stuff but also the the royal family and and like very very like presidents and of course they know of course they know they know because they're all in on it they're all fucking nonces so forgive me if I'm not crying my eyes out because some old evil fucking nonce died. You know? And if there's any account out there, you know, like I've seen the, 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 the Russell Brands and the Tommy Robinsons and celebrating the, the Jordan Petersons, the Ben Shapiros, all these people are pretending to be part of the alternative, part, part of the, the, um, the opposition to the official narrative. They're obviously not, are they? You know, we have to just call it out now. All that time for sitting on the fence here, yeah? all that time for sort of like pandering to the to the official narrative and to the to the the general view of everything. Like we're going to pander to that because what we're scared of people going, "Oh, you're crazy." Who gives a fuck? You're scared of people not liking you. Who gives a fuck? What are we doing here? We got to call it out, haven't we? Hey, <laughs> we got to call it out. Listen, if my if I had two close friends of mine who were nonces, yeah, I would have fucking, I would have done away with them anyway, first and foremost, but I'm saying you would know and you would do something about it, but they don't do anything about it because they're all in on it. Procurers of minors, do you understand? Yeah, right, and all these people, like, I heard, I heard um, Jordan Peterson try to intellectualise the, queen, the Queen's reign over, over Britain and saying that, you know, oh yeah, she's done all this great to, to unite Britain. This geezer ain't got a clue what he's talking about. First and foremost, he's Canadian, yeah, first and foremost. Secondly, the prick is living in his head. Yeah, he's got no feelings, he's just a fucking brain, right? 
let's be honest dear yeah what are we meant to be celebrating that the fact that like they're they're on show is all this grandiose wealth and all these diamonds and all this gold and all this fucking rich tradition of all this money this stinking horrible greed and money we're meant to be celebrating that well there's people on the fucking street have you seen britain have you seen britain at the moment I grew up in a Britain that was divided, that was full of homelessness, it was full of drug abuse, it was full of drug addicts, full of alcohol abuse, full of domestic violence, full of war, yeah? Full of politicians that couldn't give a fuck about the demographic. That's the, that's the Britain that I grew up in, yeah? That's the Britain that's still getting worse now. And we, what are we celebrating this woman for then? What are we celebrating this royal family for? Because they've done you nothing, it's a psyop. They've made you believe that it's Great Britain and all that rule, Britannia, Britannia rule the waves. For what? You're peasants. It's a slave mentality. That's what they got us in, this slave mentality. We're looking up to someone above us, going, oh yeah, but they're amazing, aren't they? Oh, the work that they do. What work do they do? They give us, she gives out a fucking few pins to a bunch of other nonces every year. What do they do? Every one of their charities is a, is a, it's a way of laundering m money that they're getting from places they shouldn't be getting it from. All of their wealth has come from war and genocide and fucking rape and pillage. You know, there's nothing to celebrate here, people. You know, we should celebrate the time when they're all fucking dead. You know, and listen, look, I know this might be hard for some people to hear because there's probably people out there who are following me, who are royalist. Yeah, who do believe in the rules. But seriously, if you just sit down, eat a bit of humble pie for a minute and really consider what these people are and who they are, what they're about, what their sons are about, what they're all into, yeah? The Masonic symbolism around this family, around all of these families, is enough to tell you they ain't for the people, are they? Okay? We have to stop worshipping anything outside of ourselves, yeah? It's time to stop that now, yeah, for anyone. There ain't no leaders out there. There ain't no people out there I'm looking up to. Any gurus, none of them. I'm all of them. I'm the guru. I'm the king. I'm the fucking leader for me. And that's how you should be living. We've got to stop worshipping these people because that's the reason we're in this situation in the first place. Because we're handing over our power expecting someone to come and save us or someone to come and rule over us. That's what we want. We want rulers, do we? People to rule over us, to govern us. Fuck that. That's why we're in this situation. We're in this situation because of that. Because we're looking outside of ourselves for the answers, for direction, for guidance, for wisdom. We've got everything we need right in here. Our moral compass is right in here. We don't need nothing else. All right? So, sorry, I'm not mourning. <laughs> I couldn't give a fuck. All right? I couldn't give a fuck. All I know is it's a good thing is that because now the plan's going to come very, very fast. The fucking Charles the nonce and his big sausage fingers, he's best buddies with Klaus Schwab and all these other transhumanist, globalist agenda motherfuckers. All right? So now it's going to start moving quickly. So you better hold on to your hats. All right? And you better start learning, all of you, right, to be your own fucking boss and your own governor and your own guru and your own leader and your own fucking queen and king. All right? No mourning here.